What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the lighting setup on the 200 gallon frag tank. Now I know it's been a little while since I posted a video and to uh, be completely honest with you guys, after about a year and three months of posting videos consistently, I just kind of got burned out with everything going on between coral orders, uh, customer bills, Skype conversations, and uh, just trying to get content out. I just kind of got burned out and I uh, needed to step away for a week or so just to collect myself and um, kind of get back into things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to show you the lighting setup, kind of what I've done differently with this setup compared to the 125 gallon reef and what I might be doing for the new 300 gallon build. So let's go ahead and get into it. As you guys can see, I transferred the LED ship boxes off the reef tank as well as the one that was hanging over the frag system in the closet there. And I put all four of them on the new system. Now, technically, it is one SB reef light and three Akamars, but I did end up changing out the PCB boards and the Akamars about, I don't know, eight or nine months ago, turning them all into SB reef light diode setup. Now, if you want to check out that video, you can go into the 125 gallon playlist and uh, you can see how I did that whole uh, transformation from Aquamars to SB Reef Lights. Just like the previous build, the LEDs are connected to the Apex through the variable speed port and I will show you that programming and setup here in a minute. As you guys can see, I also added some T5 lighting. Now, instead of adding a fixture just like the uh, previous build, I decided to try a, a retrofit kit instead. Now, I went with the Bulk Reef Supply Micro 4 retrofit kit, and this one allows you to connect two bulbs to one ballast. And I decided to get two of these kits at the 48-inch uh, length, which would cover the entire 8-foot tank. Now, when it comes to the T5 bulb selection, I decided to go with the ATI Coral Plus, and I got four of these. Now, why did I go with that instead of the Blue Plus? Well, I really needed more par on the edges of the tank, and that was pretty much the main reason for adding these uh, retrofit kits. Now, I did do uh, par readings before adding this kit, and honestly, at the edge of the tanks, because it's so wide and the ship boxes have to be up really high to be able to get at least a spread on that whole tank, it just, uh, it was pretty low. We're looking at like 100 to 150 par on the outside. And uh, after adding these new bulbs, I was getting about 250 to 350. And then of course it was a little bit higher towards the center. And the whole tank in general is about 250 to 550. And I'm pretty happy with that when it comes to SPS. Okay, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get over to the Apex and I'll show you guys the programming for the LEDs as well as the T5s. All right, now that we're here at the Apex, let's get in there and I'll show you guys the programming. Now, one thing I want to mention about the T5s, they are not dimmable. I know you can get a dimmable kit. I just decided to go a different route. Now, what I have decided to do with that is have them kick on as soon as the ramping process is over for the uh, whites on the LED. So uh, my ramping starts at uh, 10 o'clock and then uh, ramps to 11 o'clock when it's full blast on the LED. So I figured I'd go ahead and have the T5s kick on then. And of course they turn off or start ramping down at 2030. So that's when those uh, T5s will turn off. Okay, let's go to move on to the LEDs. Now, one thing I want to mention is that all four of them are daisy chained. So the blues just got to connect into one uh, power outlet on the apex as well as the white. So I can turn the power onto all four just by that single outlet. Now, with that being said, I have uh, the blue lights uh, programmed here to kick on and off. And we'll just get into the blues here. Uh, so the ramping starts on the blues at uh, 0, 0930 and then it finally turns off at 2200. So that's when the power will be supplied to the blue channel. Now if you move into the whites here, uh, 10 a.m. as I mentioned before to 2130 when the lights finally go off, that's when the power will be supplied. So now that the apex is supplying the power, let's go to move on to the programming aspect. One thing I do want to mention before we get started is that you can actually daisy chain up to four SB reef lights or Aquamars to one variable speed port, which will control both the white and blue channels of all four of those lights. But I decided to go ahead and connect each light to an, a, a variable speed port using four of those ports. Now, uh, here is example of the left light. So we'll have the blue LED channel here that needs to be programmed and the white. Now, before we get into that, let we have to go into uh, profile. So you have to create profiles for the lighting uh, cycle. Now, let's go ahead and get into the uh, sunrise here. Now, I'm not going to go through and show you all these because it's just going to take forever. But uh, here is an example of the sunrise. It is a ramp time of 60 minutes. Uh, the starting intensity on all SP reef lights and Akamars is 10%. And I'm just ramping these whites to 80%. So once you get to 80% after 60 minutes, you're going to move into the uh, next cycle here. And you have to uh, have a ramp time. You can keep it whatever you want. But because the intensity isn't changing here, 
it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect it so uh, throughout the day we have Sunday which is our profile name here and it's just 80% 80% okay and then let's go into the sunset and uh, we do have our ramp down uh, for 60 minutes and a starting is 80% uh, down to of course 10% when the lights finally turn off now I did similar setup for the blues here now once you have those profiles made you got to come into your variable speed pour so let's go ahead and look at the whites on uh, the one of the particular lights now this is the programming setup I have for that and uh, you basically just have to go ahead and put in the times that you want that profile to run now because the power to the system kicks on at 10 a.m. I'm gonna start my ramping from 10 to 11 which would be sunrise then the Sunday throughout the rest of the day and, and then of course at 8 uh, 30 or 20 30 to 21 30 we have the sunset profile so that's a pretty quick overview on setting all that up it's really easy and it is actually pretty cool you can go ahead and do different intensities throughout the day but uh, I like to just keep mine simple and to the point well guys the last thing I want to talk about before I let you go is my overall plans regarding lighting on the 300 gallon tank now I was originally going to go ahead and add four more SB reef lights giving a grand total of eight over that tank as well as having the T5 high outputs for sub lighting now after doing some research, talking to several people who have been in the hobby much longer than I have, and I've been very, very successful with Acroporas, and since I am transitioning my system over to a full Acropora tank, pretty much about 99% Acropora, I'm kind of taking that advice into consideration. And what I mean by that is instead of going full LEDs, I'm thinking of maybe transitioning over to two 48-inch ATI 8-bulb T5 fixtures. Now, this definitely blows my lighting budget, uh, at least doubles it, actually. And, um, you know, having to change those bulbs out every nine months, of course, is in a is a significant investment. And uh, heat management, all that stuff, um, I'll have to take into consideration when it comes to building this canopy. But uh, that's all stuff that I don't mind dealing with. Now, the reason why I want to make the switch is uh, the only difference between these people's tanks or these individuals and mine is the lighting. And then, uh, you know, their nutrient control is pretty much the same as mine. Their colony formation looks better than mine. And um, the overall color and growth is much better than mine. And they are just going underneath those eight bulb fixtures. So uh, regardless, uh, we'll see what happens. I haven't quite decided yet. And we'll see what kind of money I have when it comes uh, September. You know, anything can change. And um you know, I'll let you guys know that whole uh, process when it comes. But I just want to give you guys a quick idea of kind of what I'm thinking, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it is just lighting, so I didn't really want to keep it that long. But uh, do note that the tank did go through a mini cycle, but it is doing quite well now. And uh, there is a lot of content that I have to show you guys. I got my new skimmer, or at least it will be here within a few days. And you guys are going to be pretty excited to see the skimmer. I know that uh, I surely am, and I probably will never have to upgrade my skimmer ever ever again and you guys will see why here shortly i also added a new generator to the system so you guys will see that as well as some new power heads so all that stuff will be coming out soon and don't forget guys the i am still selling coral on a daily basis and uh, we're going to continue to sell it and i will be doing sales in a few months and kind of doing specials and continue subscriber giveaways and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned now if you guys like this content feel free to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you next time peace